Well, today is National Wear Red Day as the American Heart Association encourages the wearing of red to raise awareness about cardiovascular disease in women. February is also American Heart Month, and experts say there are many signs to keep an eye on in case you're in danger of having heart issues. I spoke today with the medical director of Eisenhower Health's Emergency Department, Dr. Ethan Contaxis. Dr. Contaxis, first off, what should everyone be looking out for when monitoring their own heart health? Well, first of all, I think regular checks up, checkups, including cholesterol testing, especially if you have a family history, uh, you should start early, maybe in your 30s, to have a regular physician. Um, I think in terms of your overall lifestyle, uh, diet, exercise, and that sort of thing always help. But at the same time, you still need to be monitored. So I think part of that is a routine checkup uh, for blood pressure, a history of smoking or not smoking. If you do smoke, you probably should stop smoking. Uh, alcohol intake, all these have an effect on out the outcome of heart disease. Heart disease is a big problem in this country. It still is. Uh, it's the number one cause of death in the United States across all populations. About 800,000 heart attacks a year. 200,000 of those are repeat heart attacks. And we have about 650,000 deaths a year in the United States from cardiac disease overall. So 650,000 yep. deaths a year? A year. Oh, so what are some of the signs that people need to look out for when it comes to heart issues? So I think when you reach an adult age uh, or, or you have a family history, if you are doing any kind of activity and you start to feel short of breath or you develop pain uh, to your chest in any form. Now, in women, it's a little different. Oftentimes, um, they may not have the classic, there's an elephant on my chest, I'm feeling pressure with exercise. They can be very nonspecific. There can be jaw pain, arm pain, numbness, very nonspecific. And some heart attacks, a certain percent, maybe up to 20% are silent heart attacks where there are no symptoms. This particularly occurs in patients with diabetes. So if you have risk factors, including diabetes, you may be subject to a silent heart attack. So that's why it's important to have preventive care, regular maintenance, uh, regular visits, and monitoring of your heart. Where do folks need to turn to for help if they start to think that they're having heart issues, other than calling 911, obviously? There's no other. 911 is the first step. What happens is there's an under... Uh, under worry about heart disease, people try to minimize their symptoms. And time, we call it time is muscle. So if you are having chest pain and you have some risk factors or you're having symptoms that don't feel quite right, call 911. They can do an early EKG. If that EKG shows there's any kind of injury to the heart muscle, which they can read in the field or transmit it to us and we can read it, then we can activate the cath lab. We can activate the cardiologist while they're on their way into the hospital so that we can do a rapid intervention if necessary. Anything else, Dr. Contaxis, you would like people to know? I think, you know, lifestyle always comes first and, and personal health and wellness. But I think just an awareness that if you have a friend or a family member that you're concerned about, it's good to talk about it. And it's good to say it's time for a checkup. And if you're a smoker, I would stop if you can't, you know, work towards stopping. If you're a heavy drinker, work towards not drinking heavily. And um, if you're overweight or have hypertension, try to get that under control. Okay. Dr. Contaxis, right. we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining Thank us. You. Okay. Take care, Peter. Good to see you.